Hello friends, welcome to ElectroPixels. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notification. Hello friends once again welcome to yet another vlog of ElectroPixels. Today in this video we are going to repair this particular 43 inch Redmi Android LED TV. In this TV the complaint is blank display problem as we discussed earlier these types of complaints are mainly due to internal shorting in gate signals inside the glass panel the shorting may be either from the left side or right side of the glass panel if both sides panel gate signals are short then it's difficult to repair. However there is a temporary panel fixing method if the gate signals shorting is in any one side of the glass panel. Anyway permanent solution is always panel replacement, so here this TV comes with CSOT panel due to internal shorting in gate signals the DC DC IC goes to protection mode. Here you can see a TCON board in this TCON board it's connected with panel right and left side Sakala boards using the FFC cables. So here first disconnect the left side FFC cable and check the opposite side picture is ok or not see friends now we disconnected the left side FFC cable see friends now the TV is powered on see now picture comes for seconds but after that the picture started disappearing slowly and becomes no display on right so this means most probably the problem is with right side gate signals anyway now let's reconnect the left side FFC cable and remove the right side FFC cables see friends now the picture comes in left side of the screens So it's now confirmed that problem is with right side gate signals. So we need to prevent the gate signals from right of the glass panels. So for blocking gate signals entering to panel from the TCON board through FFC cable here we are implementing the taping method see friends these are the gate signal tracks from right side so let's use suitable tape for masking the gate signals tracks from the right side FFC cable. We'll see friends now we successfully blocked the gate signals now let us turn on the TV and check the pictures. See finally the picture comes and the TV started working back to normal. Once again I repeat this is just only a temporary solution permanent solution is always panel replacement. and we can't predict how long the display will work using this method it completely depends user luck basis
to that's it hope you like this video if you like our channel please don't forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notification thank you for watching have a nice day.